Cookie Pod System by OVNS. Are you ready, peeps? Let's dive down. And here's the packaging. The Cookie Pod System by OVNS comes in. Inside the packaging, you get a user manual, you get a certificate, a USB charging cable, and your Cookie Pod System. All right, guys, and here is the Cookie Pod System by OVNS. So it's going to come in four different colors. We got the blue, we got the red, green, and black. So battery inside this pod system is a 400 milliamp hour battery. Your pod, which is right here, fits two mLs of e-liquid, and the coil resistance is a 1.4 ohm coil. So it's tiny, as you guys can see there, how tiny it is. Take the pod out. There's our pod. Here's our connection right here. And right here, just pull this up. Let me see if I can get that. It's a little rubber tab. You pull, and that's where you would fill. Okay, grab our liquid. I'm gonna use some acai berry. Stick it in a hole and fill. Right, after you've got your liquid in. Gotta grab that little rubber plug, which to tell you guys the truth, I do not like this rubber plug thingy because it just feels very loose. Tell you guys the truth, putting it on there, it's a little bit on the loose side. This needed to be done a little bit different in my opinion. We'll talk about that a little later. But then after you filled it, let it sit there, let it saturate, you know, before you take a vape. Put it on your little pot system cookie thingy over here and hit it. All right, so yeah that's it that's all i really got to show you guys let's go back up on top let's vape on it and i'll give you guys my thoughts and there you have it that was the up close of the cookie pot system by ovns so mike what are your thoughts okay thoughts on this uh we're gonna go with cons i really have two cons with this one con is the fill method on it well not really the fill method well kind of but the plug on itself if you lose that plug you're shit out of luck yeah so i think the package should have included an extra one of these plugs just in case all right that's going to be a con and another con is going to have to be this is something i've seen now lately with a lot of these pod systems give two pods i think it should come all pod systems should come with two of these it's the same way same situation when you buy a sub-ohm tank, isn't it a con if you only get one coil with your sub-ohm tank? Yeah. So, same situation going on here. What if this is a defect pod when someone buys this? They're shit out of luck. They can't even vape it. They don't have a second one to fall back on just in case. You know, so, yeah, con in my opinion. Now, another thing on the up and close I didn't show you guys, but they do have replacement pods. They'll come in a box just like that. It'll be sealed inside a package like this and i opened the one up just to check and no they do not even on the replacement pods they do not give one of those extra plugs all right just something worth mentioning when you do get this you are filling it up just be very careful with that plug and another thing is the plug too after you fill it you put it in it feels loose but one thing i haven't experienced with this is leaking all right it has not leaked on me i've had it sitting i've had no issues with leaking all right so that's going to be a pro because i've seen there's a lot of uh pot system pods whether well, you'll get that little bit of leakage and when you do get that leakage your best bet is you grab yourself a paper towel to whatever it is whichever pot it is and make like a little sharp tip like that go inside and just give it a wipe down or you could use something like a q-tip you know and just keep those contacts clean because if you don't keep the contacts clean it's going to create issues with your pot system that doesn't go just for this it goes for all pot systems now Pros on this, I'm going to have to give them, is the size. This thing is tiny. Uh, I know I didn't do a size comparison. I'll just take this bottle, a 60 ml bottle, and put it side by side with it. Yeah, it's small. It's a small, tiny pot system. Put this in your pocket, you'll lose it in your pocket. That's how small this is. It's very stealthy. Now, checking out your liquid. Obviously, in the dark, you're not going to be able to see your liquid capacity with this. When I do put it up to a light, I could see my liquid inside there. All right. Now, another thing about the device I've noticed. Well, this is, I don't know, do you want to consider this a con? But uh, I've, there's been plenty of times where I've picked this up and I've tried vaping it on the wrong side. So 
you, it's hard to distinguish it unless you have to look at where it says OVNS, like right there. So you have to remember the O is on top, and that's where your mouthpiece is. So yeah, one of those situations going on. Uh, build quality on these spots is beautiful. The colors, it's got like that car paint feel to them. I like the colors of it. I'm going to give them a pro. Now, airflow. This is the one thing that I, with pot systems, I like to distinguish one pot from the other. So this one, when people buy a pot system, they're not going to get a too loose of a draw or a tight or too tight of a draw. It's Some vapors like it different ways. A tight draw or a semi tight draw or a loose draw so I'll let you guys know what the draw is on this I'm gonna take a couple of vapes so as you guys just saw the first hit that you're gonna take off it there wasn't a lot of vapor the second hit you do get a little bit more vapor and on the second hit I heard like the coil because the coil is already hot now you heard it do that little crackling sound. I kind of wish off the first hit that I take, I would get that same experience I got off the second hit. hit. You guys understand what I'm talking about? One more hit. Flavor, I have my acai berry in here. I know how the flavor tastes on that. And it pretty much tastes the same way it does in other pod systems. So it's kind of hard to rate pods. On flavor because they're all basically in my opinion the flavor is almost the same on all of them it's more of the airflow now with this one here I'm gonna have to give it um it's not super tight it's not loose or it's not in between it's in between being loose and tight it's one of those draws which I in my opinion is one of those draws I like I like it when it's at the loose to tight end or to the tight end that just doesn't sound right me saying that but anyway yeah, but all in all, the um, airflow on this is a big pro, in my opinion. Now, I remember I had reviewed one of their other pod systems. This was a few months back. It was the Saber, and that one was like an abomination of airflow on there. That was So they kind of fixed that problem with the airflow. They actually made a nice airflow with this pod system. But the plugs that they use on here need to be attached to the pod system. All right, so OVNS... Maybe on your next batch of making pods, do something so this way that plug is attached to the pod itself. Because someone loses that, or give extras. Yeah, give extras in the packaging just in case. But I'd rather them have it attached because let's say you're, I don't know, you're out and about, you're at a restaurant, whatever, and you have your liquid and you want to, oh, you know what, I got to fill my pod, and you drop that piece, now you're left with no vape. You brought that one little stealthy vape with you and you're shit out of luck, you know? So that's why I'd rather have that attached on there. So uh, price on this, yeah, I'm, I'm skipping back and forth before going on price. All in all, other than that, I do approve of this. This is a very nice pot system. I like how small it is, stealthy, and I'm getting a good satisfactory vape off it. Now, price on this, uh, I looked online, myvpro.com actually has these in stock, $16.95, all right? And replacement pods, they have them on the site, but they're not available yet. They're going to be $7.95 each. I think that's a little bit on a pricey side because I could get from other pod systems. I could get like two or three pods for that price. So yeah, $7.95 for that I think is a little bit on the higher end for one pod. But uh, all in all, not a bad pod system right here. And I will be using this one. I kind of like this one. So I'll be using I like how small this is. Nice, stealthy little pod system. So... In the description below, I'll have a link to OVNS's website. I think it's OVNSTech.com, if I'm not mistaken. But I'll have their link down below. I'll have a link to my VPro's website. You guys could check that out. And all of my links are down below as always. That's it. I'm done. Thank you. And remember, keep on vaping.